ready now we're in front of the the three main tractors here that you have in the fleet yep um we've the tanker behind us here which we've covered you have a sprayer and you have your fertilizer spreader we do indeed so Ian, you do a lot of the the functions here i think on the farm machinery wise yeah. we might have a discussion on the say the sprayer it's linked to the gps of what functionality say you have on it so we might walk over there and have a look at it so a john deere tractor anyway Ian. Yeah, the John Deere tractor, um, it has um, has load sensing on it, so you have to work the hydraulics through that, but um, there was no, the the screen was retrofitted into it, um, has no auto steer or anything like that, but um, the the sprayer wasn't nice about, wasn't nice about sprayer, so it had to be connected, well, Kendrick would be better to explain this, connected to it to a, a geo switch, but with the geo switch, and um, we have um, seven sections on it. Um, turns off and on in the headlands. Um, uh, rate, um, function. Um. Yeah, well, this is it. Um, so, like you said, it's John Deere tractor. Um, it's not autogans ready. So, with this tractor, it has the GFX 750 screen in that the inside is retrofitted. Um, it's only running manual guidance on this tractor. So, there's no steering on that tractor, but for what he's doing with it, it's it's perfect at the minute. The sprayer, it's like I said, it's not an iceable sprayer, um, but it, it has section control and rate control through TUVR, through the GFX screen. Um, because it's an Amazon, it has to go through a geo switch, which is just basically a translator from the Amazon box language into the Trimble box language, for simplicity of it, shall we say. So as Ian said, um, seven sections, which is auto switching and auto shut off. So when you're working in the field at the headlands, it automatically turns off at the correct point. So the operator doesn't have to guess where it switches on and off. It's all done through the GPS positioning and it's, you know, measurements are critical in this case when it's perfectly, you know, switching off and on. So you get zero overlap or minimal overlap. Um, also, again, if, you, if you're on your headlands and it's on a cutting, so you're coming into your headland at an angle, as you go across what you've already sprayed, the sections switch off automatically, all done through the GPS. Again, saving overlap. saving the overlap and estimate and the chemicals used. So, did you, Kendrick, did you retrofit an ice bus on this tractor? Yeah, on this tractor, it wasn't ice bus ready, so because we had the GFX screen in, we were able to retrofit the ice bus harness and make the tractor. Is there much to that? Ready. No, no. Um, you know, once you get the screen in place, um, that has the ice bus capabilities. So it's just adding the, the harness onto the tractor. That gives you your ice bus plug at the back. So then on, on that tractor, you can now run any ice bus implement through the GFX screen. Okay. So. Just on, on that one, Bertie, what really happened there was when we started the whole process, when we moved to the to the, the GPS and that, we had no tractors with eyes of us. So we've, by being able to retrofit this allowed us to get started because the cost of us turning around and saying we have to change all of our tractors would have yeah. been cost prohibitive. So this allowed us to get going, get started, and then as we as I said on our machinery replacement program, we built the eyes of us capability into that yes. as we as we moved along. Yeah. But this this did allow us to get started. Yeah. Yeah. Allow you get on the journey earlier, much earlier For than a smaller and, investment, and, and a smaller investment yeah. than having to change the entire tractor. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and the cost of that um, retrofit of the ice bus, Kendrick, roughly how much? Um, I think the ice bus harness is around eleven hundred. Okay, very yeah. And so, Eddie, back in terms of the sprayer, the sprayer you had before this, what you know, what improvements have you seen with the new sprayer or the new functionality? Well, the, the previous sprayer to this was twenty five years old. Now, obviously, it, it had passed its various Department of Ag uh, certifications and so on and so forth, but. Look, this, this is a, a huge change for that level of years. We didn't have proper hand washing uh, containers on it. We had much easier to fill. You can fill from the from the base, so it's much safer. You don't have to climb up on top. It's a much, much tidier uh, uh, assembly on the back. And then in terms of where we've gone, it's, it's night and day in terms of the section control. Just your rate. You're accurate with your rate before you were guessing or it's just experience. Now you, you fill what you need. You go complete a field and it's accurate like. Again, with the with the GPS solution, the FX that gives you full traceability yeah. Yeah. for your records. 
Mm. So we're, we're using the software now as our, we're doing all of our purchase records are coming onto our, so, onto our software. It's acting, I suppose in one word, as our virtual chemical store, giving our, our inventory of, 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 of chemicals on stock. Then we're applying them. We have the proof of placement uh, uh, r records as well. And we can do a, a reconciliation on, the, on, the, on the, the, the spray store then at the end of the year. And, it's working quite well so yeah, far. Yeah, but the sprayer, the fertilizer sprayer, before any job, I do a work order and put in what chemicals is needed and it's it's linked to the GFX in the tractor and when I drive into that field, click on it, um, complete that, it won't let me do that job in a different field. Yes. So it's very accurate that yeah, way. For somebody who's not familiar with a field, maybe rent the ground and stuff like that, it would be a very big help to have that, wouldn't it? Yeah, but even the ones we have, like it's, it's even if you have, the, you, you could do up your whole list, especially, especially with fertilizer spreading. You could do a month before you're going doing it for the crops, you know. And then when you get really busy in the weather, you don't have to think about how much do I need to put in these fields. It's all on the the Trimble screen, and you just go from one field to the next. And once you just put the right product in it, you can't go wrong. Yeah, and you've your proof of placement after. Yeah, yeah, your maps. Yeah. Yeah. And like the, the accuracy is it really is phenomenal. We're, I think we had 24 tonne of, of protected urea here last year and it was saying we should have had 10 kilos left over out of, out of 24 tonnes. So like you're down to the 0.0001% of, okay. of, of error. It's, it's yeah. really good. And for, Eddie, for, for, for our audience, the, your tillage operation here, what, what does it consist of? Um, we have mainly small cereals. So we have uh, some winter wheat, winter barley and some spring barley. Um, and that's that's potentially mainly it. And is that grown commercially, or is it for more for the trials for students? Uh, or whatever? We would we would have, I suppose, it's probably about maybe ten hectares a year would would be under plots, and then the rest would be around an, on a commercial basis. We're looking for the barley primarily. We're looking for the straw off that for the rest for all the animal enterprises here, and then the wheat. We are now whole cropping some of our wheat as well. So we're whole cropping our wheat to feed to some of our finishing cattle and milking cows over the winter. And also then, once the whole crop wheat is gone, there's red start going in straight away to outwinter the sheep over. So that's how it's fitting into the rotation. Okay. We were growing maize up until a number of years ago, but we just found that the whole crop wheat um, is now currently fitting the, situ the, the system a bit better, allowing us to put in the red start uh, that bit earlier and, and, and get going. So, Okay. Yeah. Fine. So we might go on to so see your fertilizer spreader next and see Absolutely. the functionality yeah. there. Okay.